Hi, this is Mr. Max with Sankofa Mathematics. Now, a lot of people have been coming to me and they've been asking me about what does Sankofa all mean and why do you do this? Are you trying to get paid by YouTube and how many subscribers do you need to get and how many hours and all that? Now, the thing about me is that I have an abundant love for mathematics. And for teaching in general. And I like to inspire people because I believe that one of the legacies that you can leave when you are long gone from this world is not the money that and the wealth that you have accomplished. Not necessarily. It's that inspiration that you have put and the enthusiasm that you have built in the lives of people. You know, Think about it as a building of a building, that very first brick. This is the concept of which I live my life. I have made plenty of discoveries throughout my life, some worse, some better. But an important thing is to share your wisdom. And there is no joy in doing that. Then the aspects of mathematics allows us to solve problems. You you become a critical thinker. You also develop more as a person. Now, you're not going to use most of the stuff that you learn in mathematics, and engineering, or physics, and chemistry, and in your general life. Not necessarily, but what it allows is it gives you a broader spectrum, a sphere as to how you can tackle our world out there. Because there's so much that we can learn, there's so much that we can develop, innovation, technology, all of these things which makes it easier if they are used rightly to improve all our lives. So I'm using books that I use in Namibian school systems, and I also take stuff from all over the internet, the World Wide Web, and uh, some professors and people who are playing a vital role in my life. And I try to put them in, in, a, in a slide or in a video or in an explanation of something. Normally, we never ask money for these type of things. It is the sacrifices that you make that takes you a better individual. I believe I still have a lot of room for improvement, personal life and all those other things. So we have to find that desire and that eager to learn, even as teachers, professors or students, and to teach one of the things that a lot of people think it's not the role of a teacher to teach. It's everybody because everybody has got something to offer on the table. Everybody. Now, I also use in my slogan, each one, teach one. And you will see that it's an African proverb that uh, originated in America during the slavery time. So slaves were seen as chattel and therefore denied an education. So when one slave learned to read or write, that person was then the designated person, it was his duty, it was his calling to teach someone else. So in life, set targets, reach your goals and share your experiences and put them out there so that people don't have to pay for them. We're living in very dangerous times and worrisome times with pandemics and all these type of problems we face on a daily basis. We are seeing so much pain and destruction and death because of our differences. But why don't we make ourselves stronger, the bigger person, so that we can use our differences, so that we can find ways to live in a peaceful environment? Why don't we use our knowledge? Why don't we share our patents to vaccines so that people can, can be vaccinated? Why should we profit of the pain of others? So I'm very passionate about teaching. And uh, I'm sharing my passion with all of you. I put them all there. Uh, you know, it's not taboo to fetch what is at risk of being left behind. Revisit the past. Work through your exercises, your problems that you have being at the job or wherever, and it will better, make you a better person, enhance your future. 
So I have uh, an Afrikaans teacher, Mr. Platt. Back in the day, he used to say this in Afrikaans, the wortels van onderwijs is putter, maar die vruchten daarvan is by a suit. I hope I said it well, but it's basically about the roots of education, but the fruits thereof are sweet. Might have borrowed it from someone else, but the message is in there. Right, and I had not so long ago, um, one of my nephews will be asking me, Sankofa, what's Sankofa all about, right? Remember? Um, it's from the Aiken. Ghanaian word that literally means to go back and get, to return. Also, uh, it refers and symbolizes so many things in so many people's lives. What is important that you should never think that it is wrong to go back for what which you have forgotten. Many signs are out there. It's used by the diaspora, African diaspora, African Americans have also adopted to the Sankofa idea. Those customs and, and, and traditions that make us African, that makes us who we are, why people are afraid of who we are and what we can achieve. We should go back to those things and we should invest in those things and we should carry it forth into our children. We need to reflect on our past in order for us to become successful in the future. So... Adopt the spirit of Sankofa wherever you are and make the change that you can wherever you are. Max McBride, Sankofa Mathematics.